My top boss, welcome to our today's video where I'm talking about the five common mistakes that electrical technicians omit while executing electrical installations for their customers. Either executing an electrical installation or a repair work. And these are some of the mistakes that I was also committing as a beginner electrician. So listen to these so that you may not commit the same. I will also be giving you a bonus tip at the end of the video. Top boss, if you are ready for our today's session, kindly smash that like button. The first mistake is incorrect wire size. We all know that from the consumer unit, we have several circuit breakers. Several circuits have different wire size depending on the load size that is connected to those circuits. Now, a wire size must go hand in hand with the load that will be connected to it. For instance, a socket wiring will require 2.5 millimeter square. That is the cross-sectional area and nothing less than that. Two different or two separate circuits. So this is coming from the bulb. We now and for lighting circuits, they are supposed to be 1.5 or at least 1.0 millimeter square. This is the cross-sectional area of that cable. Now, if you go against these standards, it means that any load that is connected to that circuit it will strain to complete the circuit and therefore it may bring a lot of issues. Mistake number two is incorrect conductor length. This is a problem that I also found myself into whenever I was about to cut the cables after pushing or fishing them through the conduit. You'll find that I will cut at the exact point instead of giving an allowance at let's say the socket or the bulb holders or the switch connection. And this one would compromise future repair works because if at all you are replacing a specific switch or socket and therefore you need to cut the insulation because of the cable that has been reduced in size it means that that will definitely compromise on the distance or the length of that cable so that was a very very big mistake my top boss, are you looking forward to advance in terms of skill set when it comes to electrical installation? In our single phase wiring course, we have slashed the course by half. Imagine by half for only a limited period of time. Get the course. The link is on the description of this video. Now let's get back to the video. And number three is use of improper fastening tool. Now, this one is a very big problem and I'll give an example. Whenever I was supposed to, let's say, connect a socket to a circuit or even a circuit breaker, I would use a very wrong tool in this sense. Let's say I would use a tester in the place of a screwdriver. Now, we all know that when using a tester, you must be very careful because of that glass part that can snap or even break. That means that I would not tightly screw the wires and therefore it meant that that connection was very loose and susceptible to fires due to arcing. The fourth mistake was loose electrical connections. Just like I have highlighted at number three, if you leave electrical connections not well or properly fastened, especially at the consumer unit or at the load, it means that this circuit or the load that has been connected to the circuit will have an issue conducting electricity. These loose connections are very, very dangerous because they will definitely compromise the return path of electricity. Electricity flows from the source to the appliance and back through the path of the neutron. And therefore, that forms a complete circuit or a loop. If at all in that loop there is a compromise or a loose connection, it will definitely lead to arcing, sometimes under voltage or higher voltage as this specific appliance is trying to get sufficient power from the source. 
Now, this one definitely leads to a lot of issues whereby that arcing may lead to fires. All right. At number five, I avoided electrical pipe work at the ceiling because I thought, you know, I will just clip these cables at the ceiling because they are insulated. This is a very dangerous mistake because pipe work is important in the sense that it protects the cables from invasion of rodents as well as the extreme temperatures that are in the ceiling. We know that the ceiling is definitely near the roof and temperatures in there if at all you have ever stepped there the temperatures are very high now lack of conduits will mean that this insulation will be very very soft because of the very high temperatures and therefore the rodents will find it easy to eat up the insulation once the wires are exposed they may short circuit each other. This is the phase and the neutral. When they short circuit, it will lead to tripping of the circuit breakers. And if the circuit breakers cannot trip, therefore it means that there can be sparking. Sparking at the ceiling is very dangerous because wood there is very dry. If this sparking can escalate to a flame, it means that the entire building can be engulfed in fire and therefore leading to a lot of losses bonus tip is when i failed to carry all the necessary materials tools and even instruments when going to troubleshoot an electrical issue in most cases a customer would call me and i would underestimate the problem and only just carry with me fewer tools such as the pliers, the screwdriver, as well as the tester. Now, this led to a very huge problem in case I arrived at the site and the problem was more complicated than I thought. I should be carrying with me other instruments such as a multimeter so that I'll be able to determine every problem that is in there so that is a bonus tip for you my top boss ensure that you always have this important instrument that can be able to diagnose most of the problems in that electrical circuit if you have not subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe so that you don't miss any episode that we do upload my name is john and this stop heights electricians see you in the next one acute in an electrical installation especially in a house wiring let's say a, let's say i would use a let's say i would use a tester not tightly or properly that means that i would not tightly screw that screw with that means that i would not that means that i would not tightly screw the wires and therefore it meant that that connection was very loose and susceptible to fires due to arcing.